Here again, and welcome back to the Pokemon MMO playthrough. Last episode, if you guys missed it, we uh, went through the Rocket Game Corner. Well, yeah, it's well, it's technically the Celadon Game Corner. We went through the entire Team Rocket base. So you see those stairs right over, right over here. We went down them stairs, took on everything there was down there. Actually, we only faced one person because you know, two people because we like to burn through stuff. And uh, you know, we got the Silph Scope, and the Silph Scope is actually what we needed. They go over here to the uh, Pokemon Tower, which would be in Lavender Town. So what we're going to do is we're going to have to go through here and head back over to Lavender Town so we can get ourselves on top of the Pokemon Tower and save Mr. Fiji. Because, or is it Fiji or Mr. Fuji? It, uh, one of those. Yeah, I mean, you can save that guy. That poor guy is over there. He needs our help. And we're on our way on our shiny red bicycle with our big luscious beard. And we're going to head over there and hopefully get him up. Oh, that guy's got a ride shoe. Or girl, or she looks pissed. Look how angry those eyes are. Jeez. Creepy old Lavender Town. It's creepy music. Some people say that the original Lavender Town music had tones that would make you suicidal. I don't know if it's true. Just stuff I heard. Just stuff I heard. What we got here? Escape rope. I like escape rope. Escape ropes are nice. I like how I can pass all these crazy people. I only I, I, I only have to battle the people I want to battle. And holy Pokeballs up here. Ah, we were doing so good, too. We got through like two stories without having to go up against any Gastlys. Oh, wait. Why is Charmeleon now? Well, actually, Charmeleon is close to leveling up. I'm going to take on this Gastly. Real quick. Real quick, like. Real quick. Oh, you're so close. If I find another Ghastly, I'm going to knock him out because <laughs> then Charmeleon will level up and then I'll put out Flappy because Flappy needs to get some XP too. Wait, we'll just go upstairs right now. This is where you go if you want to go to uh, raise up your uh, special attack EVs. You stay up here, train your Pokemon against all these Ghastlies. You guys don't know. <laughs> up, and I say that, we find a Cubo. But uh, you actually, if you just go back and forth. Like up here and just battle against like, un like seemingly unlimited Ghastlies. You just continue to go up against them. Then after a little bit, uh, you'll raise up all your EV attack or all your EV special attack. And the best part about this area is one, you have like a 99% chance of facing Ghastlies and Haunters, which give you, uh, they raise up your special attack EV. As well as you, scary face, is that even good? I don't think it is. Frightens the foe, sharply reduces speed, boo. So, not only do you sit there and get all this uh, special attack EV, but you can just walk right into here where you enter the purified and protected zone, which completely heals your Pokemon and gives them all the stuff you'd want. And I found a cleanse tag, which apparently if I give that to one of my Pokemon, I actually uh, won't run into wild Pokemon as much. Is I think the uh, like technical use for the thing. Actually, I need to switch out Charmeleon for Flappy, because Flappy needs to get some XP. I still need to, I, I, I still need to put Drowsy back in the box, because there's no use in having uh, having him anymore, because you're not going to need to use Flash throughout the rest of the game. We found an uh, X accuracy. This person's got a Togepi! And I went over here. This person has a Togepi. No, Togepi. Togepi. Look how cute little Togepi is. It's a cute little Togepi. And I found a rare candy, which is awesome. Wait, how close to Char Yeah, Charmeleon just leveled up, right? His, his, his XP is pretty low. Let's use this rare candy on old Charmeleon. Get Charmeleon closer to a Charizard. It's now level 28. Good stuff. Good stuff. Now, we have to go face the angry mom. Actually, yeah, I need to, need to change out Flappy. Yep. Need to switch out Flappy. Oh. Oh shit, Flappy's not even out yet, so I'll keep Charmeleon out for right now. Be gone, intruders. The ghost of the restless spirit of Cubone's mother. If you don't know the backstory as to what's happening here, Team Rocket was trying to go and capture one of these Cubones. Cubone's mom, this particular Marowak, went up and tried to stop it, and Team Rocket killed this Marowak. And uh, now Marowak's soul is forever haunting the Pokemon Tower. And uh, we have to defeat it to make it feel better, which is weird. 
but it's true. We're facing the ghost of a Marowak right now. And uh, <laughs> I think this is like, I don't even think, actually, yeah, I think you can find other wild Marowak somewhere throughout the game. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Holy crap. Holy crap, that was powerful. Okay, so we're gonna have to send out Primeape to finish the job. Let's try it. Let's try Cry Chop. Not bad. Didn't do a whole lot of damage, but it helped. Now let's try Mega Kick, assuming I don't miss. And it missed. Come on, man. He's gonna use Focus Energy. Mega Kick him in the mouth. There you go. That was a lot of damage. Now let's finish him off with a Cry Chop and Primeape. Yes. Primeape's a beast, man. Love him. The spirit, or the mother's spirit was calmed. It departed to the afterlife. Yay, I'm good people. Now, <gasps> Wild Hunter! Dun, 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 dun. I won't catch it though. I seriously won't, because when I first played through this, I had a Gengar. <laughs> so there's no point in getting Hunter. What we're actually going to do though is actually do some battling, which is something we haven't done a lot of lately. And we're going to take on these rocket guys, even though we don't need to, just because I want the. Uh, I want the XP. I want to raise up Flappy just a little bit. And we've been skipping out on lots and lots of battles. And uh, we need to get our Pokemon up there. We can't fall behind. Like right now, we're, eh, I'd say, slightly ahead. And uh, we need to make sure we don't fall behind in terms of our leveling. So we need to do some battles against people like this here Zubat. And Flappy's going to get some nice XP. And we're going to have another Zubat come on out. Hey, Zubat, come on down. <laughs> Uh, it's so nice though. I hit one shockwave, down goes Zubat. You know, it's, it's, <laughs> it's easy stuff. Ooh, big bad Ghoulbat. That's lots of XP for me, if I remember correctly. Because, you know, evolved Pokemon. Evolved Pokemon give you more XP. And they also take more damage, apparently. And that Stonch isn't going to knock me out. Come on, Flaffy, you can do it. Take him out. There he goes. How much XP? 916. Ah, eh, whatever. Flaffy's now level 24, which is a good thing. He's not learning a new move yet, but. He's still level 24, which is pretty good. Let me see if I have a potion real quick. Elixir. Doesn't look like I have any potion. Okay. Well, we're just going to try and take on this guy with Flappy. Uh, this old guy marched right up to our hideout. He then starts ranting about how Team Rocket's abusing Pokemon, and so we're just talking to over as adults. I don't see you talking over as adults. Looks like you're holding him hostage. I love the music in these games. Oh goodness, we have a coughing. I, I'm gonna have to thank my lucky stars if I can make it out of this one without Flappy getting poisoned. <laughs> and we're gonna, let's use a shock. Flappy's like only move I'm using right now is Shockwave because it's the best move and never misses. And there's our poison. So we, yeah, even though I knocked out coughing, Flappy's about to faint because of the poison damage. Yep, now goes Flappy. And, well, I guess we should just send on... Oh, Charmeleon's also down? Alright, so we have nothing left but Primeape. Alright, well, that stinks. I'm just going to skip the third guy then and just go talk to Mr. Fiji or Mr. Fuji. I think it's Mr. Fuji. But Fiji sounds funnier. I'm pretty sure it's Mr. Fuji. I don't know what we'll to find out. Let's Mega Punch him. There. No more drowsy. <laughs> team, our player defeated Team Rocket Grunt. No, please, no more. No. Let's go talk to him. What's his name? His name is Mr. Fuji. Haha, <laughs> knew it. Yeah, you came to save me. Thank you, but I came here of my own free will. I came to calm the spirit of Cubone's mother. I think Marowak's spirit has finally left us. I must thank you for your kind concern. Follow to me, my, follow me to my home, the Pokemon House, at the foot of this tower. Ah, sweet. That's a Nidoran female, right? Oh, that's Nidorino. Wait. Yeah, Nidorino is pink, purplish. There's a Psyduck over there. Psyducks, Psyducks are awesome. Let's go talk to Mr. Fuji. Hello. Nears Let's Plays. Your Pokedex quest is one that requires strong dedication. Without deep love for Pokemon, your quest may fail. I'm not sure if this will help you, but I'd like you to have it. Now I obtained the Poke Flute. Upon hearing the Poke Flute, the sleeping Pokemon will spring awake. Try using it on Pokemon that are sleeping obstacles. Yep, 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 yep. Obstacle, thy name is Snorlax. <laughs> uh, let's heal him up. Heal him up, heal him up, heal him up, heal him up. And we are going to go and we're going to see if we're the right level to be able to take on the Celadon City Gym. So, here's where we have to go find out. Let's head on over. Wait, I can't go through there just yet. I have to go down through here. 
I think after we do the Pokemon Tower thing, which is what we just did, I think if I were to go get... Oh, wait, I know where I need to go. I know where I need to go. I know where I need to go. I know where I need to go, and I know what I need to do. I know where I need to go, and I know what I need to do. And I need to hurry, because we're going into show and on shitty. Actually, I don't want to go the back way. I want to go the front way this time. We're going to head into this big building with the Pokemans. And we're going to talk to this old lady. You shouldn't spend all your money on drinks. Try this instead. And she gave me tea. Nothing beats thirst like some hot tea. It, re it is really the best. Now that she gave me that, I can drive over this way and head into this stupid thing that's blocking my way to Saffron City. Like, oh, that tea looks awful tasty. Yeah, I can have it. Gee, thanks. And I give it to him. He drinks it up. Gulp, gulp, gulp. If I want to go to Saffron City, you can go right through. I'll share this tea with the other guards. Now I can go to Saffron City wherever I want. But before we do that, we need to go over here. We got stuff to do over here in Celadon. First and foremost, let's go up here and enter through here and go up these stairs and go up these stairs and go up these stairs. And now we're at the top. We're going to this super secret route. What's it called? It doesn't have a, doesn't have a sign. This guy, he's like a master. There's nothing I don't know like I wrote on the blackboard. <laughs> and I know about the world of Pokemon in your Game Boy Advance. Get together with friends and enjoy training Pokemon. And what we have here? I found an Eevee! Dun, 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 dun. We have an Eevee that we can turn into anything we want. It's a level 25 Eevee. It is gentle, which gives it plus 10 special defense and minus 10 normal defense. So it's actually a pretty good Eevee. And it's a... Uh, Basically, Eevees are here to evolve into whatever in the world we want it to evolve into, which is <laughs> a pretty awesome thing. We can turn it into Flareon, Vaporeon, Jolteon, which if I were to use this Eevee, which I'm not sure I'm going to as of right now, but if we were to evolve this Eevee, ooh, or I can make an Espeon or an Umbreon depending on uh, its happiness. If it gets to 100% happiness, it can it can just evolve at any random time. And uh, if it evolves at night, it'll turn into an uh, Umbreon, and it evolves during the day, it becomes an Espeon. Or I can use these stones that will allow it to become Jolteon, Flareon, or Vaporeon, which Vaporeon is the only one we would need because we already have an Electro-type and we only have a Fire-type. Uh, if I wanted to have Vaporeon be my Water-type, I could, or I can make Espeon be my uh, Psychic-type. I don't really feel a need for an Umbreon, but I don't know, we'll see what we'll do with Eevee, but for right now, we need to hop off our bicycle, and we need to get Charmeleon out, and we also need to switch Charmeleon to the top of our party, because we are heading in here to take on the, the uh, grass gym. Let's talk to this horny old man, by the way. Hehehe, <laughs> this gym is great, it's full of women! <laughs> Some creepy old guy outside the gym. And there are lots of broads in here, too, like seriously, there's... I want to say six or seven different trainers in here that you can face, not counting the gym leader. And they all have grass types. And Charmeleon, you can just come in here and just go bacon, eggs, and ham on them all. Look at this super effective. Super effective and 400 XP. It's not a whole lot. Ooh, a Weeping Bell. Okay, so that Weeping Bell is probably going to get you some good XP. I hope so, anyway. Super effective. Ooh, Demon knocked me out. You just had to get that freaking poison powder in. You just had to get that little second. That your one move that you could do. You had to annoy me and poison me. There's no way you were going to win that battle. All you, had, you did that just to be freaking annoying. Ah. Antidote. Charmeleon. I am now out of antidotes completely. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, there's seven. I'm like doing. I'm doing like the math in my head. There are seven trainers in here. Wait, no, six. Six trainers in here, not counting the gym leader that you can go up against. And this is going to help Charmeleon catch up the old Mankey. This is what I was talking about when I said that uh, Charmeleon was going to catch up the Mankey pretty quickly because of this gym. Yeah, because there's tons and tons and tons of trainers in here for us to go up against. And then Charmeleon's going to rank up a little bit. It's still going to be a while before Charmeleon turns into a Charizard. But we still have all the fun of uh, having Charmeleon. Then again, once Charizard comes about, I think we're all going to be happy once there's a Charizard in the mix. Because it's a Charizard, and everyone likes Charizard. Let's get rid of this freaking oddish. 
Goodness gracious, though. I hate these battles that don't really mean anything where I'm just kind of burning through. Not really. And all they do is paralyze you and poison you and other... Oh, 29, though. No. At least that's a good thing. And we're going to use another ember. And you're going to use a sleep powder on me, but we're going to hit you with another ember. Just because you're a jerk. And your friend's a jerk for uh, paralyzing me. I wonder if I have a paralyzed heal. I, don't, I really don't think I do. My makeup! Um, paralyzed heal. Burn heal. And awakening. And elixir. Which, what does that do? Restores my PP. Ether that restores PP. Max ether restores PP. X speed, X attack, X accuracy, Stardust, Repel, Pearl, Nugget, Hearts, or maybe Moonstone. I almost said Hearthstone, I don't know why I would say that, but yeah, I don't have any freaking Paralyzed Heal. And now I'm angry. So what we're going to do is uh, go up in here, and instead of facing the Broads outside, let's face the Broads in. Wait, no. Wait, no. Damn it. I want to count the, 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 the train. One, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. No, there's seven, because there's one down here in this lower corner. I think there's seven of them in total in this gym, which is just an unholy amount of people to be clustered into one thing. And you can't put me to sleep, I'm already paralyzed, you stupid execute. Stupid psychic slash grass type. What kind of combination is that? Psychic and grass doesn't even make any sense. And I shouldn't have used the number right there, but I did. 504 XP? I had to pee a beauty lorry. Yeah, it's pretty good. Alright, I'll take on Erica. Screw this. Hello. Lovely weather, isn't it? It's so pleasant. Oh dear, I must have dozed off. Welcome. My name is Erica, and I am the leader of the Celadon Gym. I am a student of art and flower arranging. My Pokemon are solely of the grass type. Oh, I'm sorry. I had no idea you wished to challenge me. I'm just going to sit here and talk like a stoner for a while. Very well. I shall not lose. I picture her talking that way. I don't know why. <laughs> uh, hey, fancy dress. Fancy dress. You always gotta like the fancy dress, I guess. Victory bell! And coming right, freaking sprinting right out the gate, isn't she? She's trying to get to the goal line on the first play. Let's see here. You can't poison me. I'm already paralyzed from one of your other trainers. Jerk. Hit him with the uh, Ember. Ooh, Ember is not even gonna take him out in one hit, I don't think. Look at him! All she's trying to do is poison me and put me to sleep and do all this other annoying crap, and she can't because I'm already paralyzed. Then down goes Victory Bell. Up goes 1,186 XP. Holy bananas. And here comes a Tangela. I wonder what her third Pokemon is. Look at this! All they keep trying to do is poison powder me, and so it's like in their instinct. As soon as they come out, it's like in the coding to be a jerk and try and poison you. Which is funny because I'm already paralyzed. You can't do anything to me. Ooh, a Vile Plume. Very weird Pokemon, that Vile Plume. Let's finish him off with an Ember. Or, well, start her off with an Ember. I should give about half the damage. Right. Ooh, wow, it's going to take two Embers and a Scratch to take out this thing. Look at them, they keep trying to use Stun Spores and Poison Powders and all that crap just to try to take me out. But you can't do it, can you? Scratch him up. Oh, now I'm paralyzed. I think this scratch will actually take him out. Ooh, maybe not now, because he's, yeah, he's sitting there gaining health off me from Giga Drain. <laughs> he keeps trying to use Sleep Powder. That's hilarious. They have to be so upset that they can't uh, take me out. I think it's funny. Yeah. We defeated Leader Erica. Oh, I can see defeat. You're remarkably strong. I must compare to you the Rainbow Badge. Dun, dun, dun. I received it. TM-19 uh, contains Giga Drain. Half the damage it inflicts is drained to heal your Pokemon. Wouldn't you agree? It's a wonderful move. Ah, uh, yeah. Giga Drain's a pretty good one. I don't have any grass types, though. Eevee evolves into this one grass type. It's called, like, Leafeon or something. I never even used it. But I always wanted to because it sounds like an awesome Pokemon. But either way, I think we're going to make this episode end off here. It's a rather short one. But the reason for that being is I want to know your thoughts in the comment section below. What should we do with Eevee? Now, people are talking, I mean, there's, like I said, plenty of options, but uh, my idea is, I don't know, but should we keep, should I keep the Eevee? Hold on, let's get Eevee out here. Should I keep the Eevee? Right? If we keep Eevee, I could uh, just try and make it happy, try and train it up, try to evolve it into like an Espeon, maybe an Umbreon, preferably Espeon because of Psychic types. Um, or should we get like the stone? 
Uh, requested to tr Norm Norm Hoarder. I, 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 I don't know. What does this person want? Maybe this per. Oh boy. It's a bit. I'm confused. Did this person just give me a Rhyhorn? Because I don't want your level 25 Rhyhorn. Wait, I think someone wished me wished at me. For Eevee. <laughs> oh, did I not whisper back? I'm sorry. <gasps> this per. <laughs> That person wanted to try a freaking right horn for Eevee. Everyone wants the Eevee. All I gotta do is just walk around and I can just be like, hey, look at this Eevee I have. Because everyone wants your Eevee. It's like everyone wants Eevee. It's, it's hilarious. I'm just gonna strut around with Eevee. But yeah, let me know in the comments. I'm actually gonna wait before I record the next episode. Uh, usually I record these ahead of time, but I'm actually going to wait to see the comments on this particular video as to what you guys want me to do with Eevee. Should we use it? Should I trade it for something? Should I make it become an Espeon? Should I make it become a Vaporeon? Because we can make a Vaporeon right now. I could go in here, I could buy a Waterstone right now, and we'll have ourselves a Vaporeon very next episode. Or, should I raise Eevee up a little bit and ho hopefully it becomes happy, and then when it becomes happy it turns into an Espeon? Uh, what should we do? Let me know about that. Remember to leave a rating where you guys will be deserves. And I will catch you guys with the next episode of the Pokemon MMO playthrough. But uh, if you enjoy the video, remember to leave a rating. Definitely helps the video grow, helps the channel grow. And these Let's Plays, you know, they're long series. You know, and uh, usually the, the like ratings kind of decline as the series goes on because people keep forgetting to because they've seen so many episodes. But never forget, we need those ratings. Hope you guys all enjoy. Please leave a rating where you guys will be deserves. Hope you guys all have a wonderful day.